Hi, this is What the Hell Navya season 2 presented by Tira, India's newest beauty shopping experience. And we're all about having open and honest conversations and today we are going to be talking about friendships. I think friends are those people who are there for us at any point in our lives. I would say I have friends who I call at 3 a.m., someone who I would call before going to a party not knowing what to wear, someone when I'm having a minor inconvenience to a major full-blown crisis, somebody who I might just want to talk to because I'm bored, somebody who I rely on, maybe a shoulder to cry on when I'm not having the best day. And isn't that what friendship is all about? So today that's what we are going to be discussing and I am going to be chatting about this with two people who I consider to be my closest friends even though one of them does not like being called that my mom and my nani we're going to discuss how friendships change as we grow older maybe what our friends mean to us and what a good friend means and also we're going to talk about how friendships break or how we fall out so i'm going to dive right into it hi hi suddenly <laughs> quite close to me i know by design so tell me mom do you have any friends that you've known since you were a kid yes have you had the same do you have the same not from school but from college yes then uh, i have friends who are not connected to my profession you have at all sat saheli who you've known for how long since your mother was a kid but how have you managed both of you managed to maintain your friendships cuz i feel like for us it's so difficult to just manage why is it difficult i don't know i think that we just have close very close friends like our best friends who we talk to about everything and who you know i have maybe two or three of those and then you have just friends in general who you meet when you go out socially or you meet through work or you meet through whatever other reason and i i feel like it's difficult to kind of manage all of that so mere jo फ्रेंड्स हैं वो ज़्यादातर फिल्मों में नहीं है फिल्मों से बाहर है जो मेरे बहुत करीब के हैं और उनके सामने वह मैं बहुत ऑनेस्ट हूँ मेरे दिल में और दिमाग में जो होता है मैं उनसे कह देती हूँ और वो मुझे जज नहीं करते अगर मैं गलत हूँ तो वो मुझे बताते हैं कि नहीं हम जो आप कह रहे हैं वो उससे हम सहमत नहीं हैं और हम रोज़ तो नहीं मिलते हैं मुझे लगता है कि रोज़ रोज़ मिलने से भी ओवरडोज <laughs> हो जाता है मगर जहां तक मेरा सवाल है मेरे सबसे अच्छे दोस्त मेरे घर के अंदर है बट इट्स ट्रू माई हजबेंड माई बेस्ट फ्रेंड आई डोंट हाइड एनी थिंग फ्रॉम हिम मैं सोचती हूँ कोई भी रिलेशनशिप हो उसमें ऑनेस्टी बहुत जरूरी है और आप इस बात से घबराते नहीं हो कि आप जो कह रहे हैं या कर रहे हैं उसके ऊपर किसी और का अलग विचार हो सकता है Also, I think loyal friends are very important. Yeah. Um, I don't know if loyalty and friendships is a thing that is even expected today. I th- I find your generation is plays very is very fluid with this term of loyalty and friendship. One day you're friends with somebody. One day you're friends with somebody else. One day you're friends with somebody yeah. else. It's true, Navya. I see it. Yeah, it is. She's right. You guys, I've seen. One day you're friends. Next day you're hating the person. There's no loyalty. someone else is talking ill about so yes if you are agreeing with them there's i i find that you know you need to build on that i think you both should change places uska pura profile aa raha hai shweta should come here you should go there okay i can see nani better now but uh, what were we talking about loyalty in friendships today yeah you were saying that we i mean i think we make friends faster today or we and lose them faster also not necessarily it depends you don't want to accommodate Of course we do that's why we're go- making so many new friends on a daily basis i yeah. think i've made the most you want to accumulate not accommodate most amount of friends in the last 3 years are they all your real friends a lot of them are work friends yeah. people who i work with and enjoy their company and i sometimes meet them outside work also but i think i've suddenly now realized that i i want to be friends with people who maybe have the same ambitions as me which wasn't the case earlier earlier i just wanted to kind of fit in and be friends with everyone in school because i had this complex of wanting to be liked by everyone but i think that that's changing slowly and i'm realizing that if i have to grow as a person then i need to be friends with people who will push me to do that 
कॉलेज इट वॉज ऑल अबाउट हैविंग अ ग्रुप एंड हैविंग अ गैंग एंड हैंगिंग आउट एंड यू नो बींग विद कूल किड्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड आई थिंक दैट आई एम स्लोली वाई यू अ कूल किड आई डोट नो आई वॉज अ कूल किड बट आई वॉन्टेड टू बी वन आई वॉन्टेड टू बी इन दैट फ्रेंड आई सर्टनली वॉज इन टूल किड यू आर नॉट अ कूल किड यू वन इन द कूल फ्रेंड्स गैंग इन स्कूल आई डोंट थिंक आई वॉज ईदर बट आई वॉन्टेड टू देर आर टाइम्स वेन यू कॉन अपने परिवार के साथ कुछ बातें आप नहीं कर सकते हैं आप किसके साथ बात करेंगे अपने दोस्तों के साथ ऐसे दोस्त जिनके साथ आपका रिलेशनशिप बहुत लॉयल है hmm. तो वो आपके जीवन में फैमिली के अलावा एक सपोर्ट सिस्टम बन जाते हैं बिकॉज समटाइम्स यू नीड एन ऑल्टरनेट वॉइस एवरी थिंग यू कॉन्ट जस्ट बी डूइंग विथ योर family family or mother father i mean you got upset but i said last time that i i, I don't understand this you know parents are friends uh, aspect that everyone is aspiring to these days my children are my children and my friends are my friends i will not talk to my children about certain things i talk to my friends about and yeah, i don't and i, wouldn't and talk I don't to think, you about what i talk to my friends exactly about. <laughs> so i don't know why everyone tr- likes to say my daughter is my best friend or my son is my best friend don't want to say nahi shweta us tarah se nahi magar aapke bacche aapke friend kyun nahi ho sakte ek umar ke baad aapke bacche aapke dost ho sakte no mama but there's always that thing you're always a parent you don't have that you don't ठीक है मगर आई मीन आई थिंक इफ यू नो दे गिव मी अ पीस ऑफ देयर माइंड आई मीन आई मे लिसन टू इट आई मे बी रिजेंटफुल ऑफ इट बिकॉज़ आई विल बी लाइक योर माय चाइल्ड व्हाट डू यू नो लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल द टू ऑफ यू वी आर नॉट फ्रेंड्स नो बट नाउ योर अ पेरेंट एंड शी इज अ पेरेंट्स सो यू बोथ कैन बी फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज़ यू बोथ आर पेरेंट्स नो बट वी आर नॉट फ्रेंड्स शी इज माय मदर देयर सर्टेन लाइंस आई वोंट क्रॉस विद हर दैट्स द होल पॉइंट ऑफ फ्रेंड्स इट्स अ ब्रेक फ्रॉम फैमिली इट्स एन अल्टरनेट फैमिली बट फैमिली मेंबर्स कैन आल्सो बी friends i mean of course i don't agree with it at why all why not navya is my friend yeah i, I don't think so yes yeah, she is oh, my mean, friend you, mean? you guys spend a lot of time together but can she be completely honest no i don't think yeah, so i mean i say a lot she's of... honest but of course she's respectfully honest but how do you draw boundaries then with friends it's important to draw boundaries you know it's important in any relationship it's important to draw boundaries the best biggest thing i've learned in all all these years coming to this age is how to say no and most people don't know how to use that word and 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 yeah, stick by actually you yeah i know yeah, you, i, I you don't know, know it at all but hopefully you'll realize because you know i think a lot of times we we expend so much energy doing things for other people yeah. that don't keep us happy and your friend is somebody who should understand that and will understand it so yes saying no is very important navya even to your friends yeah even to your family also oh is Sometimes. that an option No, I will not be coming for lunch today. <laughs> That's a different <laughs> conversation altogether. Um no, but yeah, it is important. I have an issue saying no to my friends sometimes. You so have an issue I saying I over... no full stop. You have a problem saying no to anybody. Yeah. yeah, that's true, but I think specifically with my friends, I feel I sometimes really overextend myself. Yes, you do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I really <laughs> overextend myself when maybe it's not necessary or needed and I need to learn how to just like keep it in balance. Yes, because then you expect the same from others yeah. and they won't give you. So yeah. managing expectation also is a very big lesson to learn which you will learn after another I think 20, 20 years, years 20 years. Yes, mother, I'm working people. on it. And then therefore recalibrate your expect your what you're willing to give and not yeah, give. Yeah, so I'm so, slowly realizing that that yeah. what I do for my friends doesn't But that's necessary. fine, Navya. This is this is what happens with age and as you grow older, you will realize and you will change. It's fine. But it's we're okay. giving sharing our wisdom Thank in you. case you'd I'm, like to take it I'm and maybe it. alter your life a little bit. No, I'm just saying it's an observation I have made about myself. Very good. If you can analyze your own self, it's fantastic. Not I'm many learning. people can do that. Learning. I analyze myself. <laughs> <laughs> She made the best expression ever. <laughs> What? Okay, but what? we I mean we've talked about what friendship is, but of course we've all had fallouts or people who are no longer friends with. So why why do you think friendships end? What is the what your mother said that you are expecting too much from the other person? There's a there's a there's a mismatch in expectation. 
I think it also happens when you are in a different place in your life and they are at a different place in their life. And you don't have the Navya's same in a different language place. of conversation. Navya's in a different place in her life every five years. But every five years her friends to, are being recycled. I want recycled. to be moving. I don't want to be stagnant in yeah, life. Yeah, but you have to have some anchors, Navya. I have you guys. You have to have some some consistency and some... I have you guys. I have my work and I have... I, I do have like friends who I may not speak to every day or may not talk to every day but I know that they've been there for years and if I pick up the phone tomorrow I know that they'll be there for me and you know they'll help me so I do have anchors like that but like I think it's good that I'm meeting new people and having new good. friends and constantly it's growing is that's growth what do you do with your friends I do a lot of things like, travel is one of the main you things like you really like traveling with your friends yeah that's the best way to know your friends. It's bonding. Yeah, I so enjoy to travel the, with them. You, and it's the most if fun. If you can travel with people and survive that. Yes. Or they stay in friends. the same room and survive that. Then your friendships are going to last. Yes. It's the biggest indicator. But do you think that your family's approval of your friends matters? Or it doesn't matter to you? Families, like you wouldn't care if your family... Families generally are very protective. I think my parents were very protective. Of uh. me and still are. But I think how you interact with another individual is entirely dependent on your personality and how your personality interacts with their personality. Mm. Now, your mother may not be you. So what you're getting from X, Y or Z, I may not get it. But I don't need to get it. You need to get it. You are, that's your friend. That's your life. That's what you're yeah, meeting. but I think that if you hate someone that I'm meeting, I'm going to always... There's oh, always, no, yeah. I always, don't think you're going to do that. And I don't think any of us hate anyone you're meeting. I'm not saying you hate. I'm saying so, hypothetically, if you did, it would, it, there would be like a bias in my mind that... Yes, but I think you know, you'd carry on and you should carry on regardless. Unless they harm you very badly, then yes, obviously not. I mean, in not. this case, my friends love both of you. Like, they pre would prefer hanging out with you and more, like, Nani over me. Even I would like, rather hang out with me. Like, they love coming and, like, hanging with I would with also rather hang out with me over you, Navya. Joking. It's very joke. funny. Haha. <laughs> but it's true. Yeah, like, I'm okay with Navya's friends. So cool I don't that. mind. Like, you're not know. okay with my friends? Yes. You've she been on holiday with me and my friends. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm very fine Even with Even my friends... friends come to her for advice and they'll talk to her about their lives and what's happening in their career and their love lives and their relationships and I think that's so fun that you know even like 25 26 they would rather come and spend time with you guys you also they out oh should I wear this to this party they're always asking mom I'm like why is no one asking me <laughs> and there's some friends who now become so comfortable that they don't leave only it happens it's all right yeah it's fun you in the last season said that you should marry your best friend. Yeah. If two people are just friends, they're not involved romantically, do you think it's correct to put romance in between a friendship or do you think it always works marrying your best friend? Romance out of the window. <laughs> yeah, but you, you said After that. marriage, it will be out. Yeah, but what if two people are just good friends? I that think doesn't necessarily wonderful. mean they are going to be involved romantically or could be. Well, why would you marry someone you're not feeling no, but like a that way friendship, about? Friendship, I don't know, like romance. No, no, I'm not understanding. So what you, what are you saying? If you have feelings for a friend, should you go for it or not go yeah. for it? I feel life is short, go for it. No, but then that's going to ruin your equation. Your equation is anyway ruined. Because if one person has feelings and the other one doesn't reciprocate, it's ruined. Hmm. If this friendship is that deep and that strong and the affection is there after the hurt and pain is gone, you'll get back to being friends. And if it isn't, then what's the point anyway? At least you know better. Hmm. You know, because I think when you're in a romantic relationship with someone, you understand different aspects of that person. Like you could be an amazing friend, but a terrible girlfriend to someone, for example. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it, there are different layers when you're, when you're romantically involved with someone as when you're platonically involved with someone. And how long does the romance last? I don't know, Mama. I have yet to hear for lifelong. Well, what I find funny is when Nani's friends come over, is to just see their equation with her because they can talk to her in a certain way that we can't talk to her. Yeah, in. And yeah. I find that so funny because they tick her off about certain things. Like yeah. she has two friends who are yeah, very... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vocal. Yeah, vocal. very strong and vocal. And I find it quite 
funny and entertaining yeah, yeah, when they the are blasting best. her. But it's nice to have such friends. So that's how we like they coming and sitting there. And then they keep you like grounded. And the Nani's expression when they say something is like this and she doesn't, she's not really liking that they've said yeah. it. But yeah, yeah. she's not liking it that they've ticked her off. Yeah. So it's a bit like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's a bit the best. Hmm. Like, like I'm said, tolerating you, but I'm not liking it at all. And honestly, it's the same with your friends. Something Agastya and me like love is when your friends are just like taking your case and we find it so funny because we can't do that because we don't have that. Uh, you do My do that. No, pleasures. We, yeah, they're, yeah, we live through them that they're like making fun of you or they're like ticking you off about something that we can't maybe necessarily do. So it's quite a fun situation for us to be Even in. Even my friends really like my mom. Yeah. Maybe more than me also, I think, sometimes. <laughs> Some of them. Because she's very... Uh, Chill. No. Yeah, she is. She is. There's no I need to brown to... nose so much. But she is. And butter up so much. I she's not she's... chilled from any stretch of she's imagination. Chilled, but she's very, she's very open. frank and open and no so filters. That's what I mean. And then she really gives it off to me, which they, they love. They love, yeah. No, but you like hanging out with younger people. Yeah, she loves yes. it. It's also me as a person, but also as an actor. It's very interesting for me to see how young people talk, their body language. You know, an actor is always yeah. observing. and I'm also always observing. Sorry? But I'm not an actor. <laughs> Just say it to irritate you guys. Yeah, well. I like it and on the sets, I like to be... Friends with the ADs. It's not a upar upar wala friendship. No, no. It's like they really come and like confide in you about it. I did it. not. I did not know that. Well, it's, yeah, it's, you know, it's, yeah, it's true. Not confide in me, but you know, I will tease them. You're smoking. You're standing outside the set and smoking. You know how bad it's. Dua coming. No, ma'am. No, 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 ma'am. <laughs> dua coming. So bad. Don't lie. I think you'd give constructive. Advice. Navya, do you take Nani's constructive advice? Sometimes. <laughs> do you take my constructive advice? Yeah. Well, exactly. Like you said, you should take advice from everyone and then do what you want to do. So that's what I'm doing. But then you should be ready to also answer. I am. And say thank you for uh, for this thing. But this is my decision. This is how I want to deal no, with I've it. I've stopped giving advice because it's never taken. <laughs> That's not true. You still give. Navya is receptive in a certain aspect. Yeah. And not receptive in a certain... The certain aspect that she's not receptive in is far larger. It's a very there small a, aspect. There is, a, there that is she's... a saying in Hindi which I have... Repeating quite often these days, Lato ke bhoot baato se nahi jate. But she's not learning from Lato also. <laughs> Can you wow. please help us? How have we no. ended up here? How have she's we not learning you? from Lath. I'm learning. I have learned. We are ending up Navya <laughs> bashing because the yeah. show is called well, What, what the, the Hell, hell Navya. Navya. Yeah, so, who asked you to name this? You should have named it something else. How sweet, Navya. <laughs> that so you all are never going to say. So, that's why we've not no, named it. No, I will that. say it. I will say it. Okay, anyway, we are ready for our game now. <laughs> Which friend would you pick? Would you rather pick a friend who is a serious art lover or a serious Bollywood movie buff? Art lover. You? Art lover. Both of you? Yeah. Okay, would you rather have a friend who is a relationship advisor or a money advisor? Relationship. Yeah. Though I need the money advice more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a spontaneous friend or a friend who micromanages every trip or holiday or plan? Or if I, I'm on a holiday, I want some micromanaging. I need someone who's a little I, organized. I, I, I would love a friend who manages everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. me too. Because then, you know, at least you get your dinners and reservations because they're all done and all of that. So you want an assistant? <laughs> no, I don't want an assistant. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so now let's transition into Tira Talks. Our question for today is, can you tell us about one cool friend who was a style icon for you or who influenced your beauty choices or just someone who inspired you? I, I don't have a style icon. I have my own style. Basically, she's saying she is the style icon. I no, been, I'm that not saying, have been my I answer. have my own style. I, nobody is my style icon. But that would have been my my answer that both of you would be my, I mean, yeah, but we're not my not friends, friends. But we would trust each other to shop for each other. Yeah. Not She won't trust my choice. Yeah, she would. No. I mean, depends. No. <laughs> okay, I won't. 
Why? Not no. that I don't trust it, but hers is a different style. Mine is a different. She got it's very best. different. I like what she wears for herself or you. No, yeah, exactly. Do you trust me to shop for you? Not at all. I learn a lot in terms of style from all my friends. I think Shweta is more uh, stylish than fashionable. Bonus episode where everyone no, is praising no, Shweta. No, but I believe it. And <laughs> for me, that's more important than being fashionable. Is to have your own style, your own identity. I think I prefer comfort over fashion. <laughs> Yes, thank you very much well, for I, your participation. You guys, stop, you guys stop praising me. I lost interest in the segment. It, the segment is over. <laughs> we have moved on from the segment. Now, next one, we are not praising you at all. Yeah. Well, thank thank you. you for your participation. Thank you. So, with that, we have come to an end of our season two of What the Hell, Navya. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. We really had a lot of fun making it. Mom, Nani and I have been so excited to do this season and I hope that we can come back for another one. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, please comment or share some ideas with us on what more you'd like us to talk about. Um, also, please don't forget to see our Instagram and send us some comments. We read everything and we really love talking to all of you. Uh, but once again, thank you for being a part of this journey with us from first season to now the second one. And we really, really appreciate you guys taking out the time and watching all of our madness and all our fun and all our laughter. Um, we hope to be back soon uh, with another season. So thank you again for joining us on this wild, crazy fun ride that was season two of What the Hell, Navya. A special big thanks to Tira for making this possible. Um, if you haven't checked them out, please do on their website, tirabeauty.com. You can download their app or visit their nearest store. Thank you. Little bit of fighting, not enough of laughter. What the hell? Yeah. What? She's running with the country. I'm like, what the hell is she doing?